Yes lads, welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Now it's our second one, the game ain't out yet, it's the 26th, so I think the web app comes out on the 29th, uh, and that, that bad boy is going to be everywhere, right? People are going to be flying on it, you probably won't be able to get on it for a few hours or, or so, or you might get kicked off. But if you are lucky to get on, what will happen is if you play FIFA 20, you'll get like starter packs and things, and then from the starter packs, if you get any one of the region of like, let's say if you don't, if you're not really big into trading or... You know, you just, you, they say that, you, for instance, you pack a Dembele, right? But you're not really into trading, you just, you're happy with him, right? If you're not so big into it, just keep him because he will fly up. And what I mean by when he will fly up is if we go to, um, where is he? Here, right? So this is his FIFA 20 card. The first day he comes out, he's 23k, right? This is on the web app. Rises to 37, rises to 49, to 50, goes down to 49. But this is where people start getting onto the game, right? They start making coins. He goes all the way up to 66k. Probably at some points he's a bit more expensive than that. Or that that may be his high point, but he could sell on to like 70k. I know the PlayStation, if you go on PS, right? On the PlayStation, he goes up to 79k. Straight off the bat. This is, yeah, up to 79k. And I believe... He even goes a little bit higher than that at some point. I swear he did. I swear he did go up. But about 80k is his price, right? So from from down here to 25 to 23k, he goes bang to 71k. Now, if you get this card and you're going to sell the card for 25k, if you pack him, right? If you go to this one and you pack him, he's five stars, five stars, don't forget. Good league, good nationality, and he's a winger. Wingers are the most, like, they're the typical popular players to get because they're the most exciting players people watch therefore they want to use them uh, and they they kind of create the most goals and things like that right and you know so people do like using them so if you do pack a Dembele you're going to send for 25k if you if you know you can make that 25k into 50k and that 50k into 100k then do it but if you're not big on trading and you don't think you're going to do that just keep him because within a, a space of a week you're going to make like let's say 100k off him so you, you would have been 60 70k up right so or if you pack a Dembele, if you if you start with your starter packs, you start getting rid of the contracts and things, you uh, quick sell some of the players, things like that, and you get 25k and then buy him because they're always going to go up. Majority of players will go up, kind of like these. So a Bell starts at 20. If Bell starts at 30k, he's going to go up to about 60 or 70. You just know that's going to happen. So Gareth Bale is the prime example, right? Where it's Gareth Bale, he's back in the Premier League. Massive hype. It's a very good card. Weak foot, three star skills, four stars, usable at the start of FIFA, right? He's got seventy stamina, which is which, which is bad. Like it's not good, but everything else kind of seems alright. Aggression's a bit low. It's, I mean, I don't know why his balance is sixty five, um, but everything else seems to be actually okay to use. So this is going to be a very popular card, and when people pack him, they're just going to throw him up, thinking, ah, oh, fifteen to twenty k, like. People that don't trade, they just come on here, play the game. You know, they don't watch YouTube videos or anything. They're going to be putting this card up for 15 to 20, 25k, maybe 30k. Just because it's Gareth Bale, but end of the day, he's an 83 red. He's not a massive player. People, people are going to think that he's worth. In reality, he is. A lot of people are going to want this card. So, within a few days, if you can try and get, I don't know, if you can try and get this card within the first day of FIFA, like the web app, and then you, uh, I think the early access is the 1st of October. If you can get this card, you're just sat on a gold mine. I'm probably going to try and pick up a few. Uh, if we go back, uh, Pepe is a great example as well because I believe he is a uh, four star two star, which is not the best. But this card on, if we go back here, come back, and then we just type in um, Pepe, and then we look at his card from when he come out. He actually goes up massively. So he starts down here at thirty k. Obviously, he's at this is this is what will be Gareth Bale, right? He's at a new league, new new club, and all that. So people want to use him. Then he goes all the way up here to 85 k to I think ninety two ninety two k on PS, eighty six k on Xbox from what thirty k. So if you manage to get yourself a hundred k, you can go three of these for a hundred k, and then you're be about two forty two fifty. So you could probably make 150k within what a week if you try and get to that 100k fast. That is a big is a big ask isn't it, to get to that 100k fast. Even if you buy one here, 30k, you buy two at 30k, 
you sell them both at this. That's 60k. You made, you've made your double your profit there. Both 60k's, right? You sell them for that. That's even a big thing there, but what? So you're October the 5th, and then he starts declining down, obviously, because as the game goes on and things like that, but that's what you want to be looking at. That's what Gareth Bell is going to do. Uh, the prime example is what Gareth Bell will do. Also, I do like Willian as well. He's actually playing good for Arsenal, so here be another one. Now, uh, Ferran Torres, I think this is going to be a very good card as well. He's only 81. It'd be packed a lot. I think this card will probably start about 4 or 5k, and I think it got up to about 9, 8 or 9. So even if you're going to grab a few one of these, why this is a good card, if we go to his stats here, right, it's got very good dribbling, right, for an 81. I mean, his balance is, is shit, let's be honest, right, but everything else seems to be okay, right? A lot of people are going to be looking for star teams for the first, like, three or four weeks of FIFA. It's just going to be star teams, things like that. Um, and his acceleration is good. If you work, like, something on him to make his pace and his dribbling barrier, he's actually quite good. Or even his pace and his passing, it'd be a good card to use. Uh, Shakiri, maybe not. Uh, even uh, Mares. Mares is good because Mar it happened to Mares last year, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I bought Mares last year. Uh, if we type Mares in, uh, let's just do that here pop up. No, he doesn't pop up. So we type in that, right? Oh, really? What's wrong? Why ain't why Mares? That's how you spell his name, right? Eh? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Mars ain't popping up, but Mars was kind of the same thing. He kind of done that. Um, let's see if this does anything different, right? Oh, is this is just going to ruin it. Right, Mares comes up here. So, going to have a look at Mares. I think he was like 15k, right? On the first day. Can I see that? Right, he's 12k to 15k, right? And then he does go all up to 25k, he drops to 20k, and he's up to 24k. That's kind of what you'll see. Is like, if you notice, it's kind of a dip and then up. So, it start up, and then it, it's either up, and then they go up again. Or it's like a little dip and then back up. But they always, by the October, so within probably a week, they'll be at their peak of the game coming out. So I'd probably say game comes out officially at the 9th. Um, I'd probably say by the 15th, they'll be at their peak. Prices, cards like this anyway. You get like the sellers and, and all that. They'll be, they'll be going up throughout the year um, until probably like November-ish. But so Myers has gone one rating up. He has dropped in pace though. His shooting's gone up. I mean, it's yeah, that's a very it's a very good card. So I can imagine this card. Well, this card again with the pace, it's not the best. That's why he starts quite low. But let's go back. Um, yeah, that's why he starts at quite low. So I, I do think uh, Mares is going to be a good one. Even Bernardo Silva, right? With the matter of the game, dribbling is going to be important. So Bernardo Silva would be good. But whereas pace is only eighty one, you can expect him to be low throughout the few couple of days. Uh, Lucas is going to be another one that people are going to want just because he's quick, right? Now, if we go and have a look at Lucas's price, uh, what Lucas was, let's say, at the start of the year. So, go to Lucas here. Go to his 83. Now, he is a centre forward, so it's going to play a little bit. So, he was 19k and he does go up to 50 55 57k 67 on ps yeah i think it'd be about the same i do think that's what his price is going to go up to now he was a center forward last year but he's basically the same card barring a few things he's like the same card but a winger and i think that's more important where he's not really he wasn't really the best striker because he was small he's only five foot nine strength and that's probably bad yeah so as a winger, he's probably more usable, therefore more people are going to go for him. So, Lucas is probably one you want to jump at. Going down here, I'm just looking at like the cheap ones that are quick. You've got um, Greenwood is another one, right? Because he's quite a popular player, young. It's actually doing quite good. Daniel James is probably another one that you'll be looking at. These are going to be in a lot of people's starter teams. I did do a few um, starter team setups that would be cheap enough. Uh, in my last video, go and check that out. That could help you out. But Gareth Bale ones to watch because... 
if you do get a Gareth Bale, uh, and then it's, let's say it's week, a week later or something, there, the ones to watch come out, this card's even going to go up more because he's extinct, because you cannot pack that card for at least a week. People want that card, they're going to have to go and buy it, right? And then, obviously, less you know less supply, more demand, it makes them go up. Uh, I would say that, and if we go and have a look at like the left mids, obviously you've got you know your Rashfords and things that are going to be expensive, but any kind of player here... They're all going to go up. Fleepy Anderson I like a lot. He has gone down a few from last year. If we go and have a look at his card from last year. This is a card that I did pick up. Um, I picked up a Mares, I picked up an Anderson. Um, I think I picked up a Bernardo Silva. I picked up a few players that actually did go up in value. Now, it's the same every year, right? They start off, they start off at their lowest and they only go up. So 19k, right? It goes all up to 44k, 46k on thingy. You'll probably, you, he may not go up back up to 40 odd k, but you can probably expect him to probably sit at about 7 or 8k, maybe 10k, and he'll probably hit 20s. Now, for an 81 rated card hitting 20s, that's 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 been seen before with the likes of um, Mendy and things like that, right? Last year, hit like 40 to 50k. This again, this card could be another one. He's four star, four star, four star, which is nice. Uh, what is EA doing with these staminas, man? He's what? He's 27. It should be a... It's a Premier League winger. He's got to have better than 74 stamina. Has to. Reactions is quite bad, but again, no one's really looking at his in-depth card. They're just looking at the face of it. 89 pace, 86 dribbling. That's going to be that's gonna be a card you want to look out for. If you do pack these cards, and they're like 10, 15k, um, or for instance, if you pack... A centre back that's 10 15k, I'd sell them because and then I'd go and buy one of these cards because you're gonna make more money out of these than the centre backs. Uh, centre backs there's a lot of alternatives, right? Um with centre backs it's just mainly how fast they are, right? With wingers it, it goes down to popularity and uh, and again pace. But like Saint Maximin's gonna be one or I think he's gonna start off at about 15k. You could probably see a little rise in him, but if he doesn't, whatever he is, whatever he's gonna be, he's gonna go up because not everyone's getting the early access. So, not people aren't playing coins to buy these teams, right? Um, and I wouldn't say within the first three or four hours you you grind and go and get a starter team. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that at all. That's just wasting. That's just wasting time. I would build up your coins, right? Because going to buy a few Saint Maximin, if he starts at fifteen k and you can afford one, you're probably expecting thirty k on him. Um, he will always go up to what he was. Jack Grealish ain't going to be one. 80 rated, but you want to look at the non-leagues that people ain't looking for as well. Um, Podent, is that Podent? Podent, right? Daniel Podent. I think that's his name. Anyway, he's going to be one of the ones you can probably pick up on a bid. No one's going to be really looking at this card. They might try and snipe him, for instance, right? But there's going to be a lot of, lot of packs open, starter packs and things like that, so... I, th I do think, uh, and then by the 1st of October, obviously people get the early access, they're going to flood on FIFA points, uh, and then this is where it's all going to go. If you are flooding on FIFA points, you're not really big on trading anyway, I'd probably just wait for players, right? Uh, if you're going to spend I don't know, like 50 quid, 20 quid on FIFA points, and you do pack the likes of these kind of cards, you do pack uh, St. Maximum, Fleepy Anderson, uh, and then you just want to sell them. Uh, and then do nothing with it, or you want to build a starter team, don't hang on to them players, wait until everyone starts getting the game, wait until the game gets released, wait a day or so, then sell them, because you'll start seeing them rise up, and you'll start making more coins, but if you do want your coins fast, you want to invest in players, sell the likes of them, because uh, if you pack a Rashford, for instance, he's probably going to sit at like 60, 70k, right? I can imagine, so they probably go up to like, 80 or 90, I can't imagine him going, I can't imagine this card hitting 100k, um, it, he probably would, right? But I can't imagine that. And then the likes of um, fullback. So I'm looking at Premier League because it's the most it is the most popular, and this is where probably a lot of them are going to rise quickly. And how people notice they're going. So Samedo is going to be one, right? This is going to be a 60, 70 k card, hundred percent, even 80, 90 k. This is going to be a card that's going to skyrocket, like Carl Walker. If we go and have a look at, um. Yeah, if we come back here and then we go and have a look at uh, Semedo. Alright, let's have a look how much he was at the start of the year. So again, it's going to be what? It's going to be 5k to start off with, right? Barcelona, right? 
5k it's going to be probably a bit more it's probably going to be about 10 or 15 it goes all the way up at some peak at 48k to 42k so it goes from 6k on ps to 46 5k to 41k i'm thinking now if you've got 40k and you you bought a whole bunch of tomatoes are laughing you're making like 10 times the amount of coins so even if you sell if you sold if you bought f 10 of them for 40k well, let's say 50 or 60k you're going to make 400k off him if you sell them 10 again when he's up there so don't don't overlook players like this because they are going to go up a bomb same as walker right very popular very quick good defender good stats this card's going to be expensive they always are but they always start off cheaper than what they are so let's have a look at carl walker right carl walker is a fullback currently 17k i mean he's probably more expensive than what he was at the start yeah so he's about 38k right and then he's just up from there. That's a, he's going to be a bit expensive. I probably wouldn't look in. There's better players to invest in than him. Um, let's go through some. Because I think Carl Walker. I mean, Semedo is going to be awesome, right? I think he's going to be very good. Hector Bellerin is going to be spot on. Uh, if we go and look at Bellerin, because he will be a good one. I think that's just called Bellerin, right? Hector Bellerin is going to be awesome, right? He's probably about 3 or 4k at the start. Um, okay, 5k, right? And then he shoots up to 16 to 15k. That's good, even if you pick up a Bellerin, right? Slap a Bellerin in your club, forget about him, wait for him to move on, or one or two. Yedlin was expensive as well. Now, Yedlin is what? 92 pace. I mean, he's quite good overall face, right? He's, he's definitely a starter. He's definitely a starter team player, right? So let's have a look, let's have a look at Yedlin. Go to here. He was a 76 then. Is it the exact same card or what? Yeah, it is because I've done it wrong. Apologies. Let's type in Yedlin here. I'm not sure what his um what his thing is gonna be. Okay, so he's the seventy six. Ah, uh, he's a bit different. All right, he's a bit different, but he's he's the same rating, right? So you can as you with Yedlin, it's gonna be exactly the same. These are the kind of players that you can guarantee profit on, uh, and you can you can like kind of predict it now. So he was two point nine k and goes up to uh, goes up to six point seven now. You could even buy a few of him because you know he's going to go up. You know he's going to go up. So that's one that you can guarantee if he starts at 2 to 3k and can get him cheaper and you can snipe him for cheaper. He's one that's 100% going to go up. If not one that's going to get coins fast, I'd probably do a Yedlin. Um, and it is just finding that player that is going to make you the most, the quickest. Uh, so Yedlin's one of them. So go and have a look at these are right backs. Go and have a look at some left backs. Now, what are we doing for time? I don't want to. All right, we're 17 minutes in. So I don't want to make this big, but you've got. So you've got Ben Chilwell. This is going to be a card, right? This is going to be a, this is going to be a very good card to invest in, right? He's probably the third or four. There's only probably about three or four left backs that you put, people are actually going to want, right? Because they're just everyone else is just slow, right? You've got a Tierney, Van Aanholt, you've got a Mazuaka, which okay, Mendy will be very popular, but yeah. Uh, I, I this card here, this card you want to invest in. He's probably again six seven k, and he's going to probably go to about twenty five thirty k easily. Um, that's a card that you want to look out for. So just the main thing is if you if you're not looking into if you're looking just players just to pick up, let's say if somehow right you get the 60, 70 k, uh, I'd go with a Semedo. I'd go with Gareth Bell. I'd probably go with them players because they're the players that are most hyped. They're the players that are worth the most. So I would look into them players 100. percent I hope this helped you out in any way. FIFA is literally just around the corner. So um yeah, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more content coming. Appreciate you watching. Until the next time, peace.